Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to make some Oreos in Blender. And this is kind of the result you can see here. This is a lot simpler than you might think. So keep watching, I'm gonna go relatively quick because it's a simple tutorial, but I won't be going too fast. I'll make sure I cover everything and I'll be uploading the final cookies to my Patreon as well. So let's jump in and make some Oreos in Blender. Okay, so we have a new scene open up in Blender. We're gonna select all of the default objects and press delete. You're then gonna go shift A, you're gonna add in a circle. Then you're gonna tab into edit mode and with the circle, you're gonna go E to extrude and S to scale. And you're gonna do that a few times. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. And then when you get to about here, you're gonna go control F or command F and you're gonna go grid fill. Then you're gonna just scale it a little bit. And now you're gonna press A to select everything. You're gonna right click and go subdivide, right click and go subdivide. And then you're gonna go E to extrude and you're gonna go Z and extrude up under Z. And then you're gonna come over here, control R, add an uh, edge over here and S to scale it slightly. And then you're gonna press A to select everything. You're gonna come over here to your smooth tool, just smooth things out a little bit. Also, another thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to your overlays and enable your normals to make sure the normals are correct. So in this case, they're all facing inwards. So we're gonna go Alt N on our keyboard. So we're gonna go recalculate outside. And now all the normals are flipping out the right way. So let's change that back. So we're just gonna turn off the normals. And now we have it ready to go. So let's get the texture we need. So we're gonna to go to the internet and I'm just on the Wikipedia for Oreo. So I just went to Wikipedia, typed in Oreo. And you can see over here, they have this kind of JPEG or PNG file with some transparency of this Oreo. So I'll put a link to it in the description. What you're gonna do, you're gonna click on it, you're gonna right click and you're gonna go save as image and save it to your desktop or wherever you want to. And then what you need to do, because we don't actually want this to have transparency, so we're gonna right click and you can open it with any program. I'm just gonna quickly go with Microsoft Paint, but any sort of image manipulation program would do. And then you're just gonna go file, save as, and you're gonna make sure to save it as a JPEG. And that way it'll give it the white background. And I'm gonna go to my desktop I'm just gonna call it, you know, underscore JPEG, just so I know. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And it's gonna say, okay. And it doesn't matter what program you use, as long as you have a black and white image like this, then you're ready to go. So now we can go back into Blender and we can go ahead to our UV editing. And let's come over here to open. Let's go to our desktop or wherever. And I'm just gonna find that JPEG, open image. And we're gonna select everything over here and from our top view, we're just gonna go U and we're gonna go project from view. And now with UV unwrapped it, we're gonna come over here and just scale it till it's just barely touching the edges here, like this. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to our layout again. And then we're gonna go over to our modifiers. We're now gonna to go to add modifier. We're gonna give this a displace. And then we're gonna go new. Let's go over to our texture properties. And now we're gonna come here and we're just gonna to come to the drop down over here and we should have that vector JPEG. We're gonna click on it. And now you can see here is what we have. So we need to go back to our modifiers and let's bring the strength way, way down. But you can see here, we just don't have enough topology. So let's go ahead and give this a subdivision surface modifier and drag it above the displacement. And you can bump this up to two. I will do that as well. And you can make the render even higher, but I'm gonna leave it at two for now. And now that we have this, um, the strength I might just decrease just a little bit. And we're gonna now go ahead and give this a smooth modifier. And let's bump the repeats up a few times just to smooth it out. And then we're gonna right click now and go shade smooth. And there we have our first Oreo, okay? So that's looking really good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go G, Z and move it up and then shift D to duplicate and Z, we're gonna move one down. Let's give it about this much thickness and then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in, let's go with a cylinder and we're gonna scale this down in edit mode and then smaller, make it a little bit smaller and just scale it down under Z and then in object mode, move it up till it's kind of in the middle here and then tab back in. So this is pretty easy, that's why I'm doing it quickly. I don't think I should be confusing anybody too much. So the idea here is just to add a sandwich of cream here in the middle and then you can go ahead to your face select option and then just select the top face and then go Control B to give it a slight bevel. Select the bottom face here. Control B to give it a slight bevel. And then tab back out and then go to your modifiers and give this a subdivision surface modifier. Right click and go shade smooth. 
And if things aren't looking quite right, just go into edit mode, scale it up a little bit if you have to, you know, whatever, whatever makes it work. But you guys kind of get the idea here. We're adding the cream filling here into the inside of our Oreo. So now we have a modeled Oreo. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go press A to select everything. We're gonna go R, X, 9, 0 and press enter. And then we're gonna go G, Z. We're gonna move it up till sitting on our floor. Then we're gonna go shift A, let's add in a plane. And instead of scaling that up, let's grab the Oreo actually and scale it down, make it a bit smaller, place it on the floor here. And then let's grab our plane here in edit mode. And let's make a nice little backdrop just by extruding up an edge, giving it a bevel. And then maybe scaling along the X like this. Then tab back out, let's give it a right click and shade smooth. And we're gonna go to our front view, shift A, let's add in a simple camera. Position your camera however you like. I'm gonna go something like this. And then to make things a little bit more interesting, let's select our Oreo bits and let's just rotate them a little bit, just sort of kind of facing the camera like so. And then let's go to our render settings. Let's give this cycles. If you have a GPU, I'd recommend you use it as your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And under the render samples, let's make the max samples 50. And then we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna to go to our light options, add in an area light, G, Z, and move it up. And now we're gonna go Z and we're gonna go rendered. And we're gonna go control B and drag over the camera just to limit the render. And now we can go to our light settings for this light and let's make it 120 under strength. I'm gonna move mine up a little bit and you can duplicate that light and have one coming off from the side and then duplicate it again and have one coming off from this side. But the idea here is just to have some nice lighting for our Oreo. And now the easy part, let's select the Oreo bits. Let's go into our shading workspace. In your camera view, press Z and go rendered. And let's grab the Oreo shell and let's go new to create a material for that. We're gonna make this material kind of a dark brown, really dark reddish brown. That's not too saturated, something like this. And then to give it the right texture, we're gonna go shift A search and get a noise texture. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the color in to the roughness here. Then we're gonna go shift A search and get a color ramp node, place it in here. And then we're gonna take the scale and let's make that 90. And then let's drag these two values closer together like so just to give them more contrast. And let's bring up the detail to 15 and the roughness as well. So now we have the roughness taken care of, but we're gonna go Shift A now, search, and we're gonna get a bump node. And let's take this color and plug it into the height of the bump. And let's take this bump output and plug it into the normal of the principled. And now we have that. So I'm just gonna take the strength down just a little bit. Now we have some roughness and we have some texture to our Oreo. So now we're gonna just select this back biscuit. We're gonna give that the same material. Let's just call it um, shell. I'll just call it shell. And then we're gonna select the inside bit, give it a new material. Let's get the roughness down a bit and let's make it kind of like a cream color. And that's all you have to do. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna save and let's give this a test render by going render and rendering image. And let's see what we have. And there we have it. We've made a quick and simple Oreo in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be uploading this model to my Patreon and I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.